As a wedding professional, many times we're so wrapped up in our own realm of the wedding process that we often forget that we have wedding secrets that we can pass on to couples just like you. Well, today I want to give you some actual bridal secrets that you can use for your own wedding. Hi, I'm Joshua. I am a 21-year veteran in the wedding film industry, and I'm also a wedding expert with more than 10 years of knowledge, surveys, and data collected under my belt. So let's dive into it. So the first thing I want to tell you about is a secret for high heels, and you ladies already know what I'm talking about. If you're a bride that's getting married outside, you'll be walking around the grass areas, and sometimes it could be soft, sometimes it could be wet, and walking in high heels can just be a pain because those little tips in the back of the, the hill will get sunk into the ground and a lot of times they'll get stained and sometimes it can prevent you from walking normally on the ground and you might even stumble and fall. As a filmmaker I've had this happen twice in my career over the last 21 years. I remember the first time it happened the bride was walking down the aisle out in a field in Vinton, Virginia at the venue and she stumbled and actually hurt her ankle and she was hobbling over to the ceremony point and it was pretty embarrassing. I felt really bad for her and I said, man, there's gotta be a way that I can help pass along some knowledge. So I went to the local bridal shop that I'm friends with and I said, hey, isn't there a way that you guys can do something with these you know, high heels? And they said, ah, we actually sell a product that, that works and it's called High Heel Stoppers. Now they come in many different brands and I can tell you that Amazon has some great links for them, but basically they're little plastic divots that go on the bottom of the high heel and it spreads it out and what it does is as you walk it prohibits the heel from digging into the ground and the grass and getting stuck and allowing you to trip and fall and the nice thing is, is that they make them in different colors they make them in you know clear white black whatever and they're really cheap i mean you can get a set of them for less than ten dollars and for the ceremony especially if you brides are getting married outdoors it is a lifesaver the next tip I want to give you is a little bit of a secret, and I had to dive in some knowledge to get this one out of the bag, but here it goes. If you're getting married outdoors or in an area that is heavily populated with insects, chances are you're going to get gnats and mosquitoes and flies and bugs and bees and all kinds of things at the venue, and that's something that you do not want when you are in your wedding dress. So. How can you solve it? Well, Victoria's Secret, believe it or not, has figured out a way for you. If you want to smell good but also repel those pusky summertime mosquitoes, they have a perfume called Bombshell at Victoria's Secret, which is also, it's also a best-selling fragrance that they have. Quartz, which is an online website, reports the popular perfume, which has a scent of floral and fruity mix, is also as good as the DEET insect repellent that keeps mosquitoes away. That's based on the 2014 research experiment conducted by the New Mexico State University. So the experiment that they did indicated that it can keep bugs away up for two hours. As a matter of fact, it's such a great product that there are high school and college football teams that use this to keep bugs away during the football game. It's really interesting, you can spray perfume, a woman's perfume, and go play football. So you can smell good and tackle your opponent at the same time. But I can tell you that if you wanna smell good and keep the bugs away, I highly recommend that you get some bombshell and spray it for you and your bridesmaids. One of the things that couples forget to do on a regular basis is write a personal note to each other and hand it off on the wedding day. Nothing is more romantic and more personable than having a handwritten note that you have delivered to your spouse or soon-to-be spouse on the wedding day. Now, according to a survey that I did, only 32% of couples will handwrite notes and give them to each other on the wedding day. So why is this important? Sending them a little love note before the ceremony will help ease the butterflies that you get as you walk down the aisle, and it will make everyone a little bit more at ease. Trust me on this, ladies, you're going to want to do this. And the reason is, is it's a great way to start off the day, and it makes for a wonderful special moment before or during the bridal prep. It's something I highly recommend that you do, and it will put everyone at ease.
my final tip of the day. If you haven't done so, make sure that you have a makeup trial. It's definitely worth the extra cost and it will give you an idea of what you're gonna look like on the wedding day. What you'll do is you'll set up a consultation and your stylist will get together, ask a bunch of questions, and they're gonna see what kinds of styles that you like and you don't like, and they're gonna to put together something that's gonna make you really look like a million bucks on your wedding day. Now, a lot of times makeup artists are gonna do the makeup, but they're also gonna take pictures. So that way you can have an idea of what you'll look like and if you do like it, and if you don't like it, you'll have time to change maybe the eyeshadow, the blush, the foundation color, that sort of thing too. Yes, it is an extra cost normally. And yes, it does take a couple hours extra out of your life to get it done. But chances are, if you get it done, you're going to really like what you see or you'll be able to say, hey, you know, I'm not crazy about this. Let's change that, you know, and, and do a second trial if you need to. The bottom line is the more you're going to be prepared for the wedding day, the better you will be and the less stress that you'll be as well. Well, I hope that you've enjoyed these quick wedding secrets for brides. Do me a favor. I would really appreciate it. Please hit the like button or the subscribe button. And if you have any comments or questions, leave them in the comments below. Thank you so much for tuning in. Until next time, happy wedding planning.